Some say chivalry is a trait that cannot be learned. It is a quality you are born with. That may or may not be true, but what is true is you can't steal it. It's a lesson our brave knight friend is about to learn, or a lesson we hope he is about to learn before anyone else gets hurt, or maimed, or killed, or eaten alive. Forget I said eaten alive. Spoilers! Another fine knight hath cometh to try and pulleth Excalibur from the stoneth. Only the worthy may attempt such a feat. Prove thy worth by first winning the love of my daughter. She is quite prickly, and I fear she will never wed. Returneth with her amulet as proof of her love, and thou will be granted a chance to pulleth the swordeth from the stoneth. Please, not another chivalrous knight trying to win my love through misguided feats of bravery or bribery. I really need to talk to my father about this. Okay, let's get it over with. Go prove your bravery by returning with the gold the dragon is guarding. Do that and I'll give you my amulet as a token of my love. Blah, blah, blah. That is what you want to hear, right? Dragon, gold, amulet. In that order. <sighs> Men. I just want to be an electrical engineer. Off with you! Keep out! None shall pass! Who goes there? Keep out! Off with you! None shall pass. Keep out. None shall pass. Off with you.
Sounds like someone forgot to close the gate to the dragon's den. I'm sure the princess will be fine. She's way up in the tower. I don't think dragons can fly. She'll be fine. Sounds like that dragon is gone. Prob seconds away from getting the princess's amulet. Oh, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> the suspense was killing someone. It just wasn't me. Worst first date ever. Hmm, looks like the knight is out of luck. He's never going to get her amulet now. I stand corrected. Looks like it's a win-win. Well, not for the princess, but win-win for the knight and the dragon. When our brave heroes get back to the king, my advice would be to skip over this part. Let's hope the king doesn't ask how the princess is doing. Awkward. Oh, don't forget to wipe the princess bits off the amulet before giving it to the king. It's just good manners. Thank you. 
the brave knight returns with my daughter's amulet. And the first ever to do so, I might add. My daughter can be hard to swallow sometimes. As promised, Yi has won the right to attempt to pull the sword from the stone. You must have really proved your undying love for her. Ooh, why did he have to say undying? Knight seems to be having some problems pulling that sword from the stone. Raise your hand if you're surprised. Yeah, me neither. He should have put some more points into charisma and chivalry. I knew you could do it! You have proven your honor and won the right to marry my daughter. I'm going to run to her with the good news. W wait for us in the garden. As soon as we return, the wedding can begin. Who says cheaters never win? Losers, that's who. The king seems pretty excited about his new trial by sword pulling son-in-law. Ooh, sounds like he's off to hug and congratulate his favorite daughter on the upcoming wedding. Yeah, well, what's left of her anyway? Oh, no one's going to be the wiser about how the knight got that sword. I doubt if any of the others will say anything. People in glass houses and all that. Mmm, that sweet smell of cotton candy and roller coaster vomit can mean only one thing. The carnival is in town. And you know what these three would love even more than going to the carnival? Sneaking into the carnival. Oh, come on, there's no shame in it, really. It's a victimless crime, unlike the crime about to be committed by someone who shall remain nameless. But it rhymes with Bill Hilly.